Hey, welcome again, Pastor Jeff. Hey, I'm on the road this week. Therefore, I'm taping this in a hotel room. I hope you don't mind. And I hope you will listen to the gift of repentance that has taken place. In fact, the I, I'll speak for, oh, I don't know, six, seven minutes here. And then there's a very interesting uh, Zoom call that we captured last week where people shared about their own experiences in lying, L-Y-I-N-G. Didn't we all at some point, especially as children, tell a white lie or exaggerate or in some way think you were protecting yourself from punishment or whatever if you told a lie? Well, guess what? The Lord wants in his love, in his gift of repentance, he wants you and me to remove that. You don't need it anymore. And those signals in your brain when you were a little child, they'll stay there until you remove them. And so you'll, if you stay with us, please do stay with us for the rest of this show. You'll, you'll see on this Zoom call that took place last week, and there was some wonderful testimonies of how people praying with the Holy Spirit, looking at where lying started in their lives, they came across uh, incidents as children. And so that's the gift of repentance. Repentance allows, first of all, you to come into the kingdom, the Lord Jesus Christ, when he first preached his very first word, and you can look it up in Matthew chapter 4, verse 17, repent. That's how you come into his kingdom. He didn't say, go to this church, follow this leader, sign up here. No, he said, turn your thinking, turn your attitude, die to yourself, your own agenda, and come into this kingdom that he represents. He said in another place that he is the way and the truth and the life, and no one comes to the Abba Father, except through Jesus Christ, through him. So repentance is how you get in to the kingdom. That's a, the gift right there. Secondly, the gift is that you then can cleanse from an old spirit, like a lying spirit. You know, if you don't get rid of it, there will be a propensity, a, a tendency to keep exaggerating, to lie, to say a white lie, to say, well, I didn't want to hurt their feelings or I needed to cover it up. Guess what? The Lord wants you and me to purify. There's a good scripture on this. It's in the book of Ephesians. It's in chapter four and in verse 25, it says, therefore, putting away lying, let each one of you speak truth with his neighbor for we're members of one another. Yes, isn't that true? Isn't that right on? When you come into the kingdom, you're filled with the Holy Spirit. Thank you for the gift of repentance. Now you're in the kingdom. Your Holy Spirit then wants to be connected to others that are in the kingdom and Holy Spirit to Holy Spirit. You are one with another person. You are one mind and one accord. Lying has no place in that uh, fellowship. And you and I get to be the example. Oh, it's all thanks to his blood on the cross and then the Holy Spirit. You and I get to be the example to people out in the world that think Christianity has no point. It's old. It's dead. It's traditional. Uh, it's, it hates people. No, to the contrary, it is a way of freedom. It is the way of life, and it's the eternal life that's purchased on your behalf by Yeshua. That was his name in Aramaic and in Hebrew, Jesus of Nazareth. He came as the perfect lamb and gave up his blood, his perfect, perfect blood, as a perfect once and for all complete atonement, complete payment for all the sin the rebellion of mankind, including what I rebelled with as a child. And I still am working on these issues. Lying is an issue. Being a trial lawyer, I exaggerated on behalf of my client, never lied 
but I would I would spin it in a way that I thought was I look back on it now maybe there was some exaggeration there. The Lord convicted me and said, "No, I want you to tell the truth, period, or be silent, do the right thing." So here again in Ephesians four, we're told, "Don't lie. Stop lying. It's not what you do to your neighbor." I'll read it to you again. It's it's exactly what we're supposed to be doing. It says, therefore, putting away, put it away. You do that with the Holy Spirit. You do that making a decision in your character. Putting away lying, let each one of you speak truth with his neighbor. It's Ephesians 4.25. And now I'm going to present to you in a few minutes this wonderful Zoom call that we had. It was on Proverbs 6. It's on the second thing that the Lord hates. It's an abomination. It's called a lying tongue. So I hope you will enjoy, and I hope you will write me at Pastor Jeff, J-E-F-F, -F, at repentday.com. Hope you will call me, 707-350-0659, and I hope you will donate to this ministry. To my knowledge, we are the only one on the planet that is only focusing on repentance. We're not backed by a church. We're not backed by a denomination. We're not backed by some wealthy person or foundation. We depend on gifts from you of any amount. And we have pastors all over the world asking for help. We have costs to put this forward, including this TV show. So please go to the website, www.repentday.com. On that home page on the right hand side, you can donate using PayPal or a credit card. And we thank you in advance. You will be abundantly blessed. This is good soil into which to put your donation. It will grow. Hey, and I have a quick praise report before we see the Zoom call. Just today, I learned in Malawi, our repentance training for young people, which we're calling OUT, out by which a young person comes out of the world and finds out his or her life purpose. 50 new young people came into the kingdom through repentance. So God bless you. Enjoy the very rest time of this show today. And I'll speak with you when you give me a call, when you email. God bless you. God bless you.